Okay, we've taken some more material off the harmonic balance or counterweight here and we took it off with a belt sander with our 50 grit belt and we're going to spin it again here okay we're down to Show it here. We're down to 6.7 grams at angle 105, which is right here, right over the center of that counterweight, which is perfect. So we'll take to unbolt this and go sand some more off of it and come back. And uh, what we're trying to shoot for is we want to get this down to about 3 grams on this end and 3 grams on this end. I like to leave them a little heavy so it's overbalanced a little bit. It's better to be on that side than the other side. Okay, this is our bolt-in counterweight that goes inside our harmonic balancer. This thing started at 430, 33 grams and we got it down to 399. I would have liked to have seen more out of it, but still I think that's a good amount out. And this thing's actually quite a bit less weight than the factory. GM balance or the counterweight that's in it. So we've taken quite a bit of stress off the snout on this crank by doing this. So let's bolt it in and see if we see where we came come in at. So when this harmonic balancer comes off the crank, this thing will be these bolts will be locked, tighted in, and torqued in place. Right now they're just they're tight, but they're not not final final tightened. Might ask why I'm not using an Allen on a socket. I don't have metric Allen sockets. Okay. Let's spin it. Okay. We wanted three, we got 2.3. We got it at 91, angle 91, which is right here in the center of the crank, which is where we wanted to finish. So now we're going to move to the back of the crank, fine tune it, bring it down to 2.3. Okay, angle 268 is right here. And we've got to take out about two and a half grams, roughly. So we'll do that. Which is going to be the first time that we've ground on a, I mean, drilled a hole on this crank that wasn't already there by the factory. This is going to be the first time on this balance job. And keep in mind, we took 191 grams of weight out of the rod and piston assembly, which I would have liked to see 250, but it just didn't work out. Okay, right there is where it needs to come out. Let's see if we can. I 
be drilling on this. But. I'm sure that's not two and a half grounds, but let's just see. We don't overshoot it. Safety people. Okay. That only took us down to 4.6, so we need to drill it some more. Three point six. So you take a little more out. I really don't want to overshoot this hole. Because again we were shooting for three grams front and back and now we're two point four, so we don't want to take any more out than that. Okay, we're at 2.9. So let's take a little more out. Okay, we're going to spin this up, hopefully for the final time. Okay, so that's what we finished with, 2.4 and 2.5 grams. Okay, I want to go over here again, what we did. When we set up to do this, we wanted to finish with our weight being pulled out of the center of these counterweights, front and back. Not out here, not over here, but in the center. Because this counterweight was right in the center. And we wanted to take the weight out of this counterweight so it takes stress off the crankshaft snout. The less this counterweight weighs, the easier it is on the snout. Okay, so if you look, look real closely here, we never, never put anything other than this factory hole, we just made this factory hole deeper on this front counterweight. We had to fill this one in, this hole in. You, I don't know if you can see that, but it's been welded up and ground smooth. Then on the back, this is a factory hole that was still there, and we filled, the, filled this counterweight in with a weld here and ground it smooth. Then we had to grind this, well, we, we drilled this last hole to fine tune it. And basically what will happen now is we'll take this crank off, we'll repolish it, we'll, we'll chamfer all these holes, what, what holes that are drilled here on the counterweights, we'll dress those up. Again, we'll polish a crank. We'll go back over some of these holes with a cartridge drill and smooth them out. And the reason we're stopping with 2.4 on this side of the crank is we want this side of the crank heavy on the back, and we want this side of the he crank heavy on the front. We don't want it heavy on the throw side, because that's, that's usually when a motor will have a balance problem. So we like to stay above, stay, finish a little bit higher on the counterweights, which is called overbalance. Uh, I can't really explain that to you, but that's how we always do them. So that pretty much finishes up the crank.